All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your text in After Effects. Now, I'll, the first thing I want you to do is to go to your exercise file, then double click on your text. And as soon as you do so, you should have just your solid, which is locked, and we are good to go. Another thing I would like to do is take your time indicator to about five seconds. Because this animation, we are not really doing animation in this video, at least for now. And I press N. And the next thing you want to do is right click, trim to work area. So we have five seconds timeline for this animation. There are basically two ways of you for you to create your text. The very first way is to go to layer, just like you create any other thing, new. And you can see the things you can create, different kind of layers that you can create. But for now, you want to create text. As soon as you do, it give you the sign that you need to start typing something. So I'm going to type in um, motion design, right? So another way of doing this is this. Let me close. Let me just delete this. Can you see all these tools here? Just go to your text tool here. We don't want the T. Click, and then you start typing motion design. Click on my move to then course adjust it to make it centralized. So I'll just use my, my align centralized horizontally and vertically. So so that's the second way of creating your text. Alright, uh so we need to probably change the fonts, change the weight, you know, among other things that you can do with the text. Make sure you have your character panel available. I'm gonna adjust mine. If you don't, go to Windows. Then click on character and you are good to go. So I have this and I want to adjust this some more. Let me just take this, make it bigger, right? Yeah, we have our font calibre and the weight is bold. So to change your font, you click on this and then you can now select any kind of font that you want. So let's say you want to, to go with Century, for instance. You can also change the weight if it does have other weights. But for me, I want to go with calibre, what I chose before. So you can easily just type in the font you're looking for. I'm going with bold. This has other width as well, so you can choose any other width that you want. So I'm going to leave that this as it, as it is. I'm going to click out, making sure that nothing is highlighted. Then if you want to increase the size or reduce, you use this very first one. These are like some basic um, Microsoft Office or Word um, function when it comes to text. You have this, you increase with this. They also, if I have multiple lines, so this is certain leading. So let me say I have motion design class course. I'm going to click on move to. Then if I click on this now, I can adjust the leading. This is all we call leading. So I'm just going to, I think I like the way it was. So I'm just going to maintain this. Then the next thing is, Next thing is tracking. So this enables you to increase the space between the words. So I'm going to undo that using Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z or Ctrl Z. This next one is the stroke size. So just in case you have a stroke on your text. So how do you even activate your stroke? Can you see this? We have fill color and we have stroke color. This stroke color, you can see that there's no color. It's striked out with the red. So how do we activate it? If we double click this, you can choose whatever color that you want. So I'm going to choose red. And as soon as you do, you see this red stroke all around it. So right now, I don't need stroke on my text. But before I cancel it, I would like to show you that this is the stroke size. If I increase this, you get the size of the stroke. Of course, that's if you want the stroke. But for now, I don't want the stroke. I'm going to uncheck this using this button here. No stroke. If I also want to change the color of my text, I can double click this. And then change it to something really, really cool. Let me just go with something like, um, let me go with something warmer, right? So let me go with this. I'm, go I'm gonna go with this for now. So I've finally changed the color of my text. And then if you come here, these are just, you know, these other functions are for you to just distort your text. I would advise that you shouldn't even touch any of this. It's not advisable, except if you want to try and do something funky. Or don't touch any of this uh, so uh, let me touch these functions here so we have Fox bold so if I click on this it makes it bolder let me uncheck that click on this gives it italics 
click on this it turn everything to capital it capitalize everything and the rest you just make it small like it gives this interesting look when, where this first letter is um, capitalized and the rest are also capitalized but and they are looking interesting and then this is upper script subscript you, you you guys get the gist i think we are all familiar i want to believe you are all familiar with all these functions because they are basic uh, microsoft office function all right so i'm going to just take this to the side take this to the side and this is just to show you how you can form and create your texts and even edit them before i go i'd like to show you one last thing we have the paragraph can you see that my text they are centralized and the reason is because the part on the paragraph panel centralized is actually highlighted if i click on the left aligned text it will align to the left if i click on the right it will align to the right but now i want it to be centralized this is all you need to know to for you to create your text and then modify them